This is Jason Lee with NextLevelGuitar.com and I'm back with my 2004 Brian Setzer Tiger Flame Maple Guitar. Check that out. G6120. This guitar is pretty much good for anything. Surf, blues, rockabilly, country, jazz, anything. This guitar is obviously a full hollow body and uh, this particular uh, Brian Setzer model has got some really cool attributes I like. Obviously being a Gretsch, it's got the, the correct Bigsby on it. Uh, it's got the TV Jones aftermarket pickups. Uh, a whirlwind of, of plenty of features that we can get into uh, with our pickup selection. Our cool uh, dice knobs, right? Right there, one and two. Volume controls, dice, like you're just feeling lucky when you're playing this guitar, you know? I'm gonna win something today, Dave. Nice! You know what? I'm gonna win something. I bet it all. Yeah, I would bet it all on this guitar. That's, <laughs> that's, that's for certain. It's really cool. If uh, Come in here, Dave. Check this out. You got the, got the custom Brian Setzer signature pickguard in there. Right on there. Pretty cool. Out of all my Gretsches, this is probably one of my prettiest looking ones, being that this is the Tiger Flame model. So you can actually see uh, in the wood, it has this flame that goes to it uh, on each side that matches all the way in the middle. Really beautiful. Uh, this one has the bound F hole, so it's got the white trim going through it, which looks pretty, pretty sexy. Um, double bound body, so you've got binding in the front. And I'll pull it up, there you go, see? Right there, you got binding in the back. Unlike uh, a lot of the Gretsches that use their own standard type bridge, uh, Setzer's model actually came with a pretty standard type uh, AVR1 Gibson bridge. Um, I think on his original one he probably modified it and, uh, and put that on there. Uh, it, it's cool, you know, my strings don't pop off or anything when I'm playing it live, so it makes it, makes it a lot easier. And just something kind of cool that makes it different. Um, our pickup selections are pretty standard. Um, if you see a live video or, ever, or watch Brian live, uh, he usually has his uh, capacitor switch uh, taken out, so you'll see either an empty hole or just the one switch. So uh, getting into that, this is pretty standard. We've got a three-way selector switch in the top position. So you know, down's obviously bridge, uh, middle's going to be both pickups, and uh, top's going to be the neck. And then moving down to here, uh, we've got a three-way uh, capacitor selector. So in the middle is actually off. You've got no change in sound. Uh, down, you've got a little bit of a uh, thin kind of sound, uh, kind of hollowy, and uh, just another version of that uh, in the up position. Like most standard line Gretches, this model does have a uh, master volume, so you can do some really cool swell effects, and you've got your individual volumes right down here, which are the dice knobs, so the, uh, the forward one's going to be the neck, and this is going to be the bridge. The really cool effect uh, that you can do with this is if you want to leave your, your pickup selector in the middle, you can fine-tune your volume down here and then just use your master volume all the time. Most guitars won't do that. So this way we can leave the neck all the way up if we want, leave the bridge down a little bit just to get a better blend, and then use the master volume to turn it down or turn it up for an effect. Alright, we're going to cut into a close-up right now of the fingerboard, which I really do like uh, on this type of quality of Gretsch. Uh, this is a full ebony fingerboard. Uh, I've had this thing since 2004 and I play it probably every week, and this thing looks just as good as the day it was new. Uh, real simple slab of, uh, of ebony. You've got the neoclassical thumb inlays on it which give it a clean look. And if you look at the headstock right there it's really cool. You have the actual uh, inlaid horseshoe right there with the Gretsch at the top. And uh, this actually does have a, a flamed uh, cap on it too uh, for the wood. And then you've got the truss rug cover which uh, says Brian Setzer model which looks really nice. The one nice thing about this model that I like compared to a lot of my other Gretsches is this does have the original 1959 trestle bracing inside of the guitar. A lot of Gretsches uh, will pretty much just have a reinforcement piece of wood underneath the bridge so it, so it doesn't collapse when you're using the Bigsby. But the difference is this has a whole, almost in a sense, like central support system uh, that goes throughout the guitar. I've noticed between the, the older, you know, Gretsch, Brian Setzer's, uh, they're a little bit more hollow, but at the same time they don't control as much. With this one, uh, especially if, if I've got like my basement turned up loud or another amp turned loud, um, I can actually get a lot more control over the feedback on this particular amp, which I like a lot. We have our nice uh, TV Jones uh, pickups in it, so it does have a little bit of a, I think, cleaner sound, a little more full 
just better in general. So let's go through uh, just the pickup selections right now. I'm gonna start on the neck position. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the middle. Okay, now, now I'm in the middle. I'm gonna turn both volumes up, master volume all the way up. Now let's cut to the bridge for a little bit of a sharper sound. I'm back on the neck pickup, which is pretty much my favorite position uh, on this model. I'm going to play some kind of cool chordy stuff for you right now. You can hear the warmth in it, but at the same time hear the natural highs when I do individual notes. This guitar sounds great with any style, really. Uh, you can play soft, you can play heavy, you can play light, you can play hard. Uh, the dynamics kind of speak for themselves on a lot of these scratches. Being hollow, it tends to flex more than just a solid body guitar where you get one tone while you're playing. Um, I'll do some quick examples so you can hear the difference. I'm still going to stay in the neck position, but you can hear all the difference in tone. I can strum in the bridge and I'll strum in the middle. Do some stuff like that. comes standard as per Brian's request to actually use the uh, spurs of locking tuners on this which is really great for using the Bigsby all the time you can really lay uh, really heavy on the Bigsby and it's gonna stay in tune pretty well definitely for a, a few songs at least live uh, one trick I do recommend is if you do pick up one of these models and you're using the Bigsby quite heavy obviously the locking tuners is a plus but at the same time you can either get a better quality nut installed or at least get some nut lube and then that way it's going to keep the strings from flowing a lot better uh, through the grooves. With this model being of uh, pretty high quality, this is going to have the flame top and everything, which is, is pretty hard to do as far as guitar manufacturing is concerned. Um, even if you look at the back of this, you can see that they actually pretty much, pretty much book match the wood. You can see the flame right there. I'm going to try and turn that. There's a little bit of a glare, but you can kind of see how there's a central line going down right here and the wood's all matched. And this is flamed all over. It's really nice. So, you know, uh, remember they are, you know, pretty high end and they're they're quite a pretty penny, but at the same time they're really worth it. And uh, I I play the hell out of this thing, and uh, it still holds up and plays I think better than the day it was new. It's been aging very well in the last five years. This has been Jason Lee with NextLevelGuitar.com. I hope you enjoyed this video on my 2004 Brian Setzer 6120 Tiger Flame guitar. Make sure to check out our website where we've got 700 videos and growing, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time. Mm -hmm.